for come girl me up. Look here, girl. You need for come out like ya. <laughs> you, you mad. <laughs> you crazy. Someone clearly wrong with you. Boy. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Welcome to the YouTube page of Maya J. Mm. I hope that you stay. Subscribe to her today. Then you should hit the like. Change your life with the good vibes. See the other new school with that old school vibe. Back again. Fresh face. Clean skin. Nice girl. Bringing you content in Corona time. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Today's video is really gonna be about. Well, it's not about anything. It's really a um makeup video. I haven't done one of those in a while, and I feel like you know, y'all deserve a makeup look from me. Also, it's gonna be like a mini story time. Um, I don't think the story time is gonna last as long as I did. I'm gonna be doing my makeup for, but I'm gonna try to at least, you know, give you guys all the details from this experience as well as tell you what the hell I'm doing with my face. I washed my makeup brushes, they're all clean, um, and like dry because I washed them maybe like two days ago. So, we have clean brushes to use today, so I'm trying to, like, turn out a really cute look. I also promised you guys, like, a natural glam. I did a whole natural glam look that I did film, but I didn't post because I don't know why. I'm going to insert that video right there. Yeah, so I did that look, and um, it came out really cute, so I'm going to try to recreate that look for you. Maybe with a little bit of, like differences because it's not gonna be exactly the same but yeah story time recently i had one of the most triggering experiences i've had in a while because of a random taxi man that quote unquote had me up like that nigga got me that nigga had me so mad on like 10 counts of upset like i was just pissed off by this taxi driver boy no me a boy mo because really and truly in passing place with me in a like multiple different places like homeboy homeboy had me homeboy had me anyways this is how this went right story time of how i was thrown from a taxi on hope road how i was verbally assaulted in a taxi by a taxi driver that's a boy not a man right and this is how it went right so i went downtown to shop for some stuff and when i went down there i bought the stuff i went with my friend and she helped me buy the stuff and whatever we walk out the whole of downtown trying to find what it is that I was looking for. Anyways, when I found it now, I said, okay, I'm going to go home because, you know, home time now. Gets on the taxi from downtown. Is a taxi from downtown that going to Ligany Campus. Ligany Papin Campus. That's what the taxi driver said. And I was going to Ligany. So I said, you know, okay, let me take the taxi. So I go on the taxi and the taxi driver now... The taxi driver now takes my box with my stuff and puts it in the back of the car. So when he puts my stuff in the back of the car, like, I don't have a problem with it riding in the back of the car. I didn't have a problem with any of this because me, the things I made, I got have one fully civilized drive to wherever it is that I was going. Er, wrong. I was so wrong, right? Anyways, when we drove off and we was coming up the road, the taxi driver asked, um, anybody going to Ligany? I said, I am going to Ligany. Mind you, it's a seven-seater and it's in, we can't even talk while I do my makeup. 
it's a seven seater right and i go into the car and when the, the taxi driver asked who's coming off at ligani i said i'm coming off at ligani he proceeded to ask where in ligani and i said i'm coming off at the scotia clearly if me say scotia me i come off at ligani me i go so you need to know where you need to turn for drop me off cool homeboy Asked for the taxi fares in the taxi. So I said, okay, cool. I pay this man my fare. In giving you details, I'm going to tell you, I gave this man a $50 bill. I gave him a $50 bill, $220, and a $10. Made it have a $500 bill, and made it have a $5,000 bill in my purse. In my mind, I am saying, okay, maybe I should give this man the change because... Taxi drivers are always complaining about not having change, not declaring change before you get into the taxi. Like you're not providing a service and you're supposed to have change in the first place anyway. But let's not get into that, alright? So homeboy takes my money, throws the silver into the coin section of the car and proceeds to collect the rest of the fare. Now, as I said, it's a seven-seater, so I am in the middle, I'm in the middle seat. I'm in the middle seat between the driver and the back seat. I'm in the middle seat that looks directly between the two front seats. I'm, like, right behind his shoulder. So, when the people in front run on the back are pass up them bus fare, me I say, all right, cool, me will just collect the fare and pass it to this taxi driver boy, right? Okay, does that. When me pass the money to the man now, the man drag the, the hundred dollar out of my hand. So me I wonder why this man a drag something from me. Why a drag something from me, sir? Because that not necessary. Like that really don't necessary. So I call him out. I said, why are you dragging something from me? You didn't need to take the hundred dollar like that. I don't see why you drag something from me. That's disrespectful. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. So, him proceed for color the rest of fear and the person, the gentleman, which was a guy, the guy in the front seat of the car said, gave him the same money that I did. Him give him a $50 bill, $220, and a $10. Homeboy is going to turn to me now. Me, but give my money long time. Him going to turn to me now and say to me, say, when uno see me taxi, on the road. If you don't have no money, don't come in my car. I mean, you stop win? <laughs> no. Clearly, something wrong with you. Because if you're going to argue with somebody about the money where you just received, I feel as though you should have taken that up with the passenger that was sitting in the front seat. Because there's no possible way you could be arguing with me when me give my money long time. Anyways, so I said it to him. I said, I don't understand why you have an issue with the money at the same hundred dollar. If you have a problem, give me back my money and I will pay you from a five hundred dollar bill. Me have my money. So the man take me five hundred dollar, call me Zamenke. Me give him my five hundred dollar before him give me back my money. Give him the five hundred dollar. I'm collect hundred dollar out of the five hundred dollar, and gave me back four hundred dollars change. Then him give me back the fifty dollar, which was the hard fifty dollars that I gave him. To this day, to this moment, to this minute, old boy still don't give me back my money, my two twenty dollar and my ten dollar. Man, circus. It didn't get heated until him reached um, Old Hope Road and took the wrong turn. So he took the wrong turn arguing about money with me. Take the wrong turn on Mr. Turnwin for drop me off so I'm going to end up on Mona Road. Oh, I don't know if anyone of you guys know Kingston like that. But Mona Road from Ligony is far. The exit from Ottawa Drive... Up by Embassy, past Embassy, go up on Mona Road up there. So, from Scotiabank, Ligony, is very far. And man's wanted me 
to walk. Me must come out of the vehicle because I just dumb there so me ago. After you argue with me, bow my money. After me tell you where me did I go, and you take a wrong turn and don't drop me off. I make up here and I'm go done in another video. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you from now. It's not go done because I'm not gonna be able to talk and express myself passionately if me I focus on doing two nice eyebrow. But that man really had me. He had me messed up in the worst way, right? So now I say to him, um, I explicitly told you where I was going. I told you exactly where I was getting off, and you decided, you. Decided to argue with me over money instead of care more me ago. So please, me really don't care about the distance. Me don't care. So this is a one way. Me don't care. So you have to go drive around the stoplight and come all the way back up for drop me off. I do not care. Care me where me ago. Please, just care me where me ago. That's all I want at this point because he was very disrespectful. Man, I go come gal me up. Look here, gal. You need to come out I care. You, you mad, <laughs> you crazy. So I'm clearly wrong with you. Cool. Told this man, Mr. Listen, please to drive, go down there so for drop me off. Because if you do not drive, go down there so to drop me off. I'm not coming out of the car. I have a box in the back of the car, I have a bag, and I am not safe being let off in front of standpipe there so. With all of these things that we may have to go walk with, go all the way back down there so. So I kindly ask you nicely if you care me which part me tell you say me did I go. You rang me. You rang me. The man drive go down. Him stop. Him turn right at Emb ambassadors desa and go around the little bend desa embassy and gone back up up road now. Mind you, Scotia is further down the road. Why would you turn after you have a disgruntled customer in the back of the car? Why would you turn... And not care more me ago. Why would you turn and stop halfway? Because you won't cuss me. You won't argue with me. Because you's a girl. Okay. Alright. Cool. Then now him drive go all the way up the road. I said to him, listen, if you are gonna drive, go all the way up the road, please to ensure say you care. These people go drop them off. Me I go stay in the vehicle and you go care about garlic and because I told you where I was going. Hey girl, you have to come out of the car yeah, me. We drag you out of this car. Me say, eh? What you say? I gave him all the colorful words in my vocabulary. Him did have to get the clot clots them. Because him did very out of order from him call me girl. Oh, when I park up downtown, I pick up people. I don't pick up crosses. I say, you are the crosses. <laughs> you clearly is the crosses because you won't argue with me. And that is why you decide. So you did want to turn back halfway and don't drop me off. Man reach all the way up at JC gate with me. JC. JC, when him pull over on the road, and I go tell him, say, I'm going to drag me out. I say, if you lay a finger on me, if you reach back into this vehicle and put your hands on me, remember, may I tell you, it not go nice. Anyways, man's, man's got very disrespectful. Man started to threaten that he was going to run the car off the road. Man started to talk a bunch of me didn't even know like man just start make a whole heap of like talk like he must say oh he must go run the car off of the road he must kill off everybody in this so you know I called the police I took out my phone and I dialed 911 and I said listen I am in a vehicle and the woman running 911 nobody feel like she want to talk down to me I me never did appreciate it vitamin C guys The woman, I go ask me, why am I still in the car if I feel endangered? Me say, Miss, all of my goods them in the back of the car, Miss. Me can't come out of the car and leave my things them. She said, um, stay on the phone, stay on the phone. Where is the car headed? Where is the car headed? I said, Miss, me tell the man, say, me I come on for Ligani. You man drive with me all the way up a papi. Papi in the reach now. Papi in from Ligani. It's a old taxi. What is not going to happen is you are going to feel like you can disrespect me all because I'm a girl. And that is true. This is not me just pulling that feminist card. This is true because the guy in the front gave him the same money as me and he never did a trace and scandalize him. And me did have strength for 
But me have a mouth. Me is a mouthpiece. And what no man is going to do is talk down to me. What no man is going to do is going to make me feel disrespected. What no man is going to do is threaten my life and feel as though I am not going to call the police station to make them know say you is a drunker and you don't deserve to be running taxi. Point blank period. Anyways, the man pull over hospital gate, drum brakes, and I'm in the road. Come out of my car, come out of my car, girl. Come out of my car, come out of my car. No, come out of my car. So I came out, I sat in the seat, and I put my two feet outside of the car, and I was sitting down in the car, just like I'm sitting right here right now. And I said to him, they deny me, I say, if you touch me, I slap you in your face. Please to take my things from the back of the vehicle. That's the only reason why I'm still sitting in here. Take out my things, them, out of the car, and I will get out. The man took out my bag, my box, fling it down on the roadside. So I got up, and I came out the car, and I moved to the side of the road, and I was still on the phone with the lady from the police station, and I said, listen, the guy just threw me out of the vehicle. I'm right by the UA hospital. Man say I'm going to kill me, I'm going to chop me up. Then the man will come out again when the man fling me out of my car. Right? The man will go drive me down. Sir, what is wrong with you? The man drive me down, guys. Drive me down. Drove me down all the way. And I just, I just don't understand. I really just never understand. How it escalated so quickly, one, and two, why the man did he feel like him did not go talk to me, carry me away, treat me the way him treat me, and me never did I go go to the police station. So that is exactly what I did. I got out of the vehicle, I walked my ass to the back gate with my big ass ever bag and box. One girl went in the car with me, come out of the car too, because she never feels safe. She came out, she was actually going to campus. She came out of the car, she assisted me with the box or whatever. While I was walking down the road, the man come back and I got asked me if me see him phone drop out in Naomi Glare Road. As me said, this man is clearly a menke. So, him when him, him never find him phone. Me really never care because he never have nothing to do with me. I was on the phone with the police and I told them this man is driving me down. Asking me for his belongings. I don't know this man from Adams. And I really need somebody to come and get me now. I need somebody to come and sort this out like right now. Because I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. And without my own unperson protection that I had. That man would have laid a finger on me. That man would have dragged me from the vehicle by my lap there off of hair. And he would have probably not only verbally abused me, but physically abused me. And I stood at the back gate and I waited for 15 minutes for the, the police to come. And the police did not come. So if the man did have a machete in his car and decided to go come back at the back gate, come chop me up. I would have gotten chopped up because there was no one there to protect me. I had to call my babe. I said, listen, oh man, just, 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 just. Disrespect me in the worst way and throw me out of one car and I had me a go and I never signed up for this. I really did not. And as soon as I got off the phone with him, I went to the police station. And when I left the police station, I called my father. I said, listen, I want to go home. I want to go home because Kingston is wild. Kingston is the wild, wild west, bro. Like all these taxi drivers are on their wildest of shits, bro. And I, I do not have the mental capacity to deal with that. I don't. So you know, say, after all of that, I me got my yard, I me ball, and ball it out, me start pop my bag then. I had to go. Because there is no possible way I'm going to feel safe traveling to somewhere that I travel to every single day with this person where under some wild impression things and I have things for him. And two, that guy is just really freaking crazy. Like, that person is crazy. Like, that person should not be polite in a public surface. That taxi driver is crazy. When we go to the police station and run the license plate number, it's not even for him, So you guys are hiring people to provide a service to other people, and these people are dangerous. 
Like, like this is not a joke. Like people chop up people every day. This is not a joke. Like it's <laughs> I don't even know how to express how like how fucking like how how like rattled I was. I was just so scared. I was so panicked. I was I was freaking out and I was like I don't want to do this anymore. Like I really cannot like I cannot live in Kingston. I cannot live in Kingston if I'm not driving. I cannot live in Kingston if I am not making the amount of money to call a cab service everywhere that I need to go. I cannot live in Kingston and be comfortable knowing that I could go outside at any minute and a taxi driver is going to see me crossing the road and lick down my ass. Like, <laughs> probably is my paranoia. Probably that's my anxiety at work. But to be honest, I've not felt the same ever since. Like, even after I come home, and that day had a series of things that really happened. Like, that day had a series of things that led up to that moment. But that taxi driver was the last straw. Like, he really was. And I I just had to leave. Honestly, I was scared. I really was scared. Like, even though I thought about it, I was upset. Because I said, this man literally, like, just ruined my entire, like, state of being over, like, Fifty dollar, fifty dollar. Why I'm still don't give me back. I oh, know. So taxi driver boy, policeman. Whenever you find this taxi driver boy, please to collect me twenty, me two twenty dollar, me ten dollar. Cause I want them back. I want them back asap. Cause no man, no man, no get for talk to me the way him talk to me. I feel like saying I'm gonna keep my money. I am so appalled. Public transportation is not it not it like it's really not like it's the ghetto <laughs> like -ta 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 -ta. like that's no mm -mm. no so like so i'm not doing that anymore and thanks to corona we're all locked in our houses for an extended period of time i'm gonna be home making videos for you guys not interacting with outdoors, not interacting with taxi drivers. Hopefully, I win the lotto and can buy myself a car. But this, that ship here, mm, no I see you. That no I see you. But anyways, that was my story time. That was supposed to be a get ready with me. I'm probably going to do the get ready with me and post a speed up version of it. Because, um, yeah, it may just get to my eyebrows. Like, my eyebrows are still not done. But, yeah. So, um, that's my story time about my last really traumatic experience, um, with public transportation. Taxi driver chronicles. I have enough of them. So, if you don't want to hear more taxi driver chronicles, let me know. But that was, like, the last straw. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This video is, like, mad long. I'm probably gonna, I don't even know how I'm gonna cut it out. But um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment with your taxi driver chronicles. Let me know all these dirty people mess up your day on a regular basis because I know they do if you take public transportation. And yeah, stay safe out there. Wash your hands and um, be kind. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>